Today's video was sponsored by Pop Culture Zone Pressing Services. If you need your comic books pressed, I personally vouch for Pop Culture Zone as being one of the best professional companies in the game, offering hands down the lowest prices out there. Services start at only $9.99, and every order place will receive free fast track turnaround times. Even though I press comics for my personal collection, whenever I need a professional press for my key comics, I send them off to Pop Culture Zone and every single book that I've received back, every single one has had results that have exceeded my expectations and I am sure that they will exceed your expectations as well. Make sure you go check the link in the description below to head over to their website, popculturezone.com for complete details on services and how to begin your order. What is going on YouTube? Chris with Journals Comics of Pop Culture. I have a box here that's pretty heavy from Comic Pro Line that just showed up on my porch. I ordered over $100 worth of comic book supplies from Comic Pro Line's website. They are coming out of Canada, folks, if you're not familiar with them. Now, this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to open this box up. I'm going to show you guys everything that I purchased. And then I'm going to uh, get some comic books. We're going to put some bags and boards on some comic books. And we're going to really look at the product. We're going to test the product out. And I'm going to give you my complete honest opinion on what I think of this product. Now, let me give you all some context. It was one year ago that I did a video talking about awesome products to use for comic books. I had BCW products, I had Ultra Pro products, I had uh, eGerber Mylar products, and I had a bag of Comic Pro line bags. And in this video, I was not, you know, siding with one company or anything like that. I was saying when I use Mylar, I get them cheapest from eGerber. Uh, I really stand behind BCW products. And most of the stuff that I use is BCW, but I was also showing off the bags from Comic Pro Line because they are a type of poly that is similar to Mylar and it has a Mylar feel, but much thinner than Mylar as well. So I was like, this is a very affordable in-between option. But guess what happened right after I made that video? The 100 bag the 100 pack of bags that I had for Comic Pro Line when I started putting comic books in them, they started splitting down the side. I went through about half the bag, half the package, and they all split so easily. And look, because I'm a man of my word, I came on the next day and made a video to stay away from this product. And the reason why I did that was because I had just made a video, you know, talking good about this product, suggesting this product. And who am I to sit here and have a product that went faulty on me and not give proper context? I don't want to tell people to go buy this product and then they do and then they have bags splitting on them and then they're like, Jerno, this is a garbage product. Why did you recommend this to me? So that's the context. And I finally said, look, I did a poll and I got a lot of people that say I really live by Comic Pro Line. So it took me a year about... But I finally said, I'm going to spend some money and I'm going to see for it myself with a, a good large amount of bags and boards. All right. So Comic Pro Line, Joe, I believe the, the, the owner's name is Joe. If you are watching this, I am here to, like I am in every video I, I, I do, I'm here to be transparent. Red Deadly, by the way, hanging out with us today. I'm here to be honest. Because that's what I believe in in this community. And I think this community is better when everyone succeeds. And I never want to put any business on blast. Especially if it's a small business that's, you know, working really hard to, to do their thing. So, again, that's why I stand by BCW. You guys, I have an affiliate code with, with BCW where you can save 10% off of your orders. That's in the description on this video. But even... Even so, I don't shy away from talking about any other product that I use because I'm not just here to be a salesman. But let's see what we got. Enough talking, talking too much already here. All right, so we got Comic Pro Line bags. This is a OPP that I was talking about where uh, they are a bit thicker than your standard uh, polypropylene uh, bags and they're a bit more clear. Uh, yeah, this is... Um, 
silver regular size. This is a seven and one eight inch. All right, so I got a hundred pack of those. There's another one. Now they also have Mylar bags, so I went ahead and tried out uh, their Mylar. It says Comic Proline Mylar, uh, two mil. They feel a little thinner just in the bag, but we got to open those up than your standard uh, E Gerber or even BCW Mylar because. For those that don't know, BCW Mylar bags and e Gerber Mylar bags are manufactured by the same people. All right, here we go. Here's some regular size bags, the, the 2 mil OPP. Regular size bags, 2 mil OPP. Regular size bags, 2 mil OPP. And by the way, they were having a sale. So that was another thing that really got me to say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finally do this. Um, and uh, a current size 6 and 7, 8 inch two mil OPP bags. Uh, we got the acid free, the 56 point acid free backer boards, regular size. This is the six and seven eighths that I'll use in the seven inch bag. Most likely you get one eighth inch difference between bag and board. Looks like I got two of these, but these are thicker. These are the 56 points. So we'll see if they fit. And then I got the uh, Super Strong. These are more of their standard. I think they have a 24 as well, but these are 28. I think it was only a couple dollars more for the 28 uh, kind of standard backing boards. And this is a 6 and 3 fourths. So this will go in the 6 and 7 eighth current bag. Very nice. Uh, yeah, no, doesn't look like any of these are damaged. They're, they came nice and uh crisp and brand new there's another one so let's go ahead before we even get them into books we're gonna go ahead and open them up and get an idea of what they look like so we're just gonna open up the comic pro line bag the uh current size of the two mil opp all right all right so here we go yes we got a nice clear um i mean it, it, in the in the naked eye there's a little bit of um fog to them but you probably can't even see it on screen they are very clear and they do have more of that kind of vi very thin it's hard to even describe it but they're not as um what's the word i don't want to say latex c is a standard polypropylene but you know they have more of that sturdy feel but they are super thin now i'm going to test something here I'm going to put my hand in here. Oh, look at that. I barely moved it. I barely moved it. I, I Guys, I didn't put any. And it, it's splitting. It just split. Not, not looking good so far. So again, it's like I barely... Guys, I really hope you could see. Let's try... Like, I'm not even... I, I'm like just kind of oh look at that boom I mean I'm not even putting any real pressure on it and it, and it's splitting look at that all right so I'm gonna show you guys real quick here this is a standard BCW and these are new these bags are new I just bagged and boarded some books so these are BCW bags that came you know straight out the hundred pack See, this one's not, this one's not, I, and again, I'm putting much more, I'm putting much more pull on these than I was the, um, comma pro lines, but yeah, you see there, this one ripped a little on that side. So here's the thing. They are definitely still the, the comic pro line OPP bags are 100% more vulnerable to splitting. Now, of course you guys are probably watching and saying, Chris, you know, when you put a comic book in a bag, you're not even going to open it that much. So we're going to test that out. We're going to actually put some comic books in the bags and see if any rip just by doing standard handling. Now, before we do that, though, I'm going to set these aside. We're going to go into the Mylar bags. Mylar. Let's see how these feel. Okay. Yep. They're... I want to say they still feel a little thinner than um, 
BCW and E. Gerber Mylar's. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed an E. Gerber Mylar bag, and I mean, first off, I don't know if you guys can see, but the E. Gerber Mylar bag has no fog and cloudiness. The Comic Pro line does. Again, I mean, it's not much, but it does. It's very similar to their OPPs, the type of cloudiness. It's just not, these are definitely much more clear. There's, I mean, this is flawlessly clear. This has some cloudiness. I don't know if you guys can even see that on camera. Another thing about the Comic Pro line is, I don't know if you guys could see this, but it looks like there is, you could see the heat sealant on the side of the bag. It's not perfectly smooth. You can see where this was like, probably so. I used to do, if you do shrink wrap, when you shrink wrap, items and as as they as you cut the shrink wrap you basically apply heat to where it cuts it and seals the two sides together that's what it looks like whereas the bcw is a smooth or excuse me not the bcw the e gerber is a smooth just i mean it's like it's super clean you can't see any of that so i'm gonna again hold it up I don't know if, again, if you guys can see the difference on camera, this here being the Comic Pro line, you can even see, look, yeah, see, you could, you can, there we go, and it's even like, like, you see how it looks like it was getting burnt to close up, and then it's like, whoop, it went in a little bit, it's not perfectly straight, got little plastics kind of peeling off, um, whereas the, look at that, you could see how kind of smooth and crisp the B, uh, e Gerber one is and I think you can even see a little bit of the fog when it's this close maybe not all right let's do a test here on these okay not oh they I, I I did a pretty hefty tug right there these ones oh ah oh, there it goes all right let's do a little tug on the e Gerber and I'm, again, guys, I'm being completely honest. I am not taking sides with anyone. Oh, ooh, these are depth. Yeah. See, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Let me put that much pressure on this. Like, right away. Yep. All right. So, again, E. Gerber slash BCW because they're the same manufactured product. Oh, uh, there it goes, finally. There it goes. And yep. So, again, um, I mean, the, to me, the edge goes to uh, the, the BCW E Gerber Mylar. But the Comic Pro Line Mylar is not bad. Um, it's decent quality for a Mylar. But I just, I got to be honest to say, it is not the same quality as a BCW slash E Gerber. Now you can look at price point, which we'll do later in this video to compare. Well, even though it might not be as high quality, is the price point worth it? All right. Now let's look at boards. This is where I think Comic Pro Line might really, and they're. I mean, these boards were were solid, a solid price, um, comparative to even E Gerber when you buy bulk. So this is this might be where Comic Pro Line really kind of takes the cake. You know, I know BCW, you know, the more you buy, the more you save. And then again, you know, like my, if you know about my um, discount, you can use that. Um, e Gerber, the more you buy, the more you save. It looks like Comic Pro Line often has sales, which is very helpful. Look at this. This is an amazing high quality bag uh, board. Look at that. Look at that thickness. So this is pretty much, you know, pretty much a an E Gerber a standard e-gerber fullback but remember even e-gerber fullbacks recently not only did their price increase but their quality went down in my humble opinion because they're not as thick and they're brown on one side so looking at price point personally if i want a thick fullback board remember because these are acid free i'm going to go with comic pro line these are 
solid and they are smooth. They don't have that, you know, that kind of texture that the E Gerber boards have. They are smooth on both sides. This is an amazing quality board. 56 point beautiful. All right. Now let's move to the standard backing board. Again, this is a 28 point. I believe their thinnest was a 24, but you got probably the standard coat, standard one side uh, gloss coating. Oh yeah, those are nice. These are nice too. I mean, I would say, I would say the 28 point is about the same as DCW. It's not as smooth. I don't really feel the smooth coat. I don't really feel, I, I mean, it, it's a little bit, it's a little bit smoother than the back, but I will say that like the BCW boards, even Ultra Pro, which I, I never recommend really, um, have a much smoother buffer, but in terms of thickness, um, the thickness is there. I will say that the cut isn't smooth as smooth again either. Um, you can just really tell that these are being cut, you know, with BCW boards, it's, you, you know, you probably because they have a much, I'm going to assume that they have a much larger manufacturing facility where, um, you know, Comic Pro Line is a smaller entity, but uh, it's nothing that would bother me. It's nothing that would bother me at all. So again, it, for me, it would come down to price point probably. You know, they, and the unfortunate thing about Comic Pro Line is they are in Canada. So shipping could bite you in the butt. But I think if you order like over a hundred bucks, you get, I think you get free shipping. So, um, and same with the BCW shipping is still, even if you're in the States, it could get hefty, but after a certain amount, I, I think it might be a hundred again too. Uh, you do get free shipping as well. So I really like their boards. Their boards are solid figuratively and literally speaking. So now what we're going to do guys, we are going to move this over and get some books in these bags. All right, guys, here we are, ready to show off books in these bags. So, first up, uh, we got the standard 2 mil OPP. Uh, this is the current size, the 6 and 7 8 inch bag, with the current 6 and 3 4 inch uh, standard board. All right, so, I'm going to do it like I put in any comic book. I got a comic book right here. So we'll see how they hold up. So normally I would either take it like this. I'd, you know, put my fingers on the bag, throw the board in. There you go. Board didn't uh, split the bag or anything. And then I'll take my little comic book, throw it in just like that. And boom, give it a little <laughs> tap like that. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Solid. Fold the flap over. Don't got any tape. But there it is. So it held up, guys. It, it held up. I mean, I'm even kind of playing with it there. So this looks pretty solid like that. And it is nice and clean looking. All right. And remember, while BCW poly bags uh, are really nice and clean looking too, um, these tend to hold up a little better because of them being the OPP instead of the standard polypropylene. Uh, although I haven't had too much waviness over time with BCW bags. That happens with my Ultra Pro bags a lot more where they get really crinkly. But anyways, I'm, I'm impressed with, with this not ripping or, or, or anything. I'm going to kind of tug on it a little more. So, oh, there, see, there it goes. But again, I mean, I, I, I wish... This wasn't the case. I still think they they split easier than any other bag I've I've dealt with, but I'm taking it with a grain of salt right now. All right, now we're gonna move on to the um, seven inch OPP bag. All right, uh, with the 56 point, basically like a fullback. Remember, uh, acid free thick board. This is a six and seven eighth inch board. One eighth inch different from the bag. Let's see how it fits. That's a that's a perfect fit in my humble opinion. Got my little comic book. We're gonna throw that in there. Nice. 
Looks pretty solid. Flip it over. Boom. Look at that. Really nice. All right. Let's try to put some weight on it again. Oh, I'm sticking my finger in here to pull my... Oh, see? It it split again. Right as... I, if I just pump this... Look at that. Look, it's, it's splitting. Ah, oh, man. I am still... Now, again, I mean, you could just be more careful and go for the bore without even moving those up, but... Again, these OPP bags are splitting much more easier than any other bag I've, I've ever dealt with. <sighs> Man. All right. Let's go to the poly bag. So same size as this last one. Remember, the poly bag is a 7-inch a bag. And um, we got the same 56-point vacuum board. That's a 6 and 7 8 inch. 6 and 7 8 inch thick perfect fit got my book sliding that in there give it a couple taps there we go flap over solid and that yeah that's clean i mean it looks like mylar clean 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 look at that Woo. all right let's test it putting a little weight on it all right, so the Mar Mylar is definitely more... I know the other one, when I was testing it, split a little easier than the BCW slash E. Gerber My uh, Mylar bags, but this is much more durable than the OPP. I mean, I'm... It, yeah, it's not splitting with me doing the same thing. So that's good to know. Um, Again, on display, they look really good. The boards being my favorite thing about it. Um, The Mylars are solid but not as strong as your BCWs and your, and your E Gerber, okay? Um, the OPPs aren't splitting like the ones that I had last year, but they're still splitting a little too easily for my liking. Um, even though the BCW bag split when I was pulling on that, I still had to make a bit more effort to get it to split. So that is a concern for me. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to look at price breakdown and compare what we're looking at especially the mylar next to bcw and e gerber and then we're also going to be looking at the uh, opps next to your bcw standard poly bags and we're also going to be looking at boards so i'm going to look at bcw boards the standard uh one side coated boards next to their one side coated boards, and then we're going to look at the 56 point next to E Gerber fullbacks. But I'm telling you right now, the E Gerber fullbacks are no longer fullbacks. So let's go ahead and take a look at price points. All right, guys, we are going to dive into price point now. Let's start out with the poly bags. So, of course, when it comes to the Combo Pro lines, we're looking at the OPP, which is different than your standard poly. But you guys already see me open them, and I'm going to tell you my honest opinion and how I feel about this. So, look, right here, we got the uh, Combo Pro line OPP bags. Send it about $750 per 100, depending on size. Okay? Let's go over to BCW now and see what we got. You got your standard polypropylene bags at $5.99, uh, depending on size, and the resealables are the, about the same price as your OPPs from Comic Pro Line. Now, both websites give you free shipping, $100 and up, okay? So, shipping isn't a thing if you're looking at $100 and over. I always try to consolidate my orders of supplies when I know I need enough that's going to push me above that $100 free shipping mark. So, also, if you order more than five packs, you get down to $5 a pack. If you order 10, it goes down to $4.49 a pack. Plus, you can use my code for 10% off. I'm not pushing that right now, but it's just a fact of the matter that there are promotional uh, codes out there that could save you money off of BCW. But I do want to shout out, I'm talking about my code for BCW, I am on the Comic Pro Line email list. And they have sales all the time. 30% off this, 40% off that, 50% off. So there are deals to be had if you catch one of their sales. You're going to save more money buying the standard polypropylene bags from BCW. But you get what is supposed to be a higher quality with the Comic Pro lines because they are that OPP plastic. They, they're not supposed to 
wear and get wavy as much. But like I said, most of my um, BCW bags don't get wavy. And they don't yellow because polyethylene is what used to yellow. I personally, honestly, because I don't like how easily the OPP Comic Pro line bags split, I would still go with standard BCW bags. My honest to God opinion. I know that I tugged at the BCW polypropylene bag as well and it started to split a little bit, but it took a lot more and it didn't split all the way down as easily as the Comic Pro lines. I would love to see Comic Pro line make the, the side seals a little bit stronger so they don't split as easily. And if that happens, I might spend a little more money or catch them at a sale and go with the OPP, especially for books in my personal collection, because I do believe it's it's in between the standard poly bags and Mylar, but just that the way that they split is, I'm a bit hesitant right now, okay? Now let's go into Mylar bags. So let's look at um, Comic Pro line Mylar. Now, remember, I did say I don't think the quality is the same. They, they, there was a little bit of cloudiness, a little bit, compared to the BCW and the E. Gerber poly bags. And remember, I said, like, the the seals on each side, you could see, like, it's kind of heat, heat cut and heat sealed. It's not as clean and smooth as the E. Gerber and BCW Mylars, but still a solid bag. So you're looking at... $22, no matter the size, of a 100-pack of Mylars from Comic Pro Line. Let's look at BCW. This is where I don't understand how BCW sells any Mylar bags because they're the same as E. Gerber, and they're so overpriced, in my humble opinion. Remember, guys, this is a 50-pack. This is the 50-pack. So you're paying basically um, $32, where here for 50, you're paying 11 and like I said, yeah, a little better quality over at the BCW, but I would absolutely buy my Lars from Comic Pro Line any day over the BCW, even with my 10% off discount code. <laughs> so I'm not being biased. But now let's look at E Gerber, folks. All right. Um, they're a little different per size, but if you look at current, they're sitting at $13 for 50 pack. Okay. That is what? Uh, a couple dollars more, right? Then. A 50 pack from Comic Pro Line, but if you start going up, you get more. You get 200, that's a, about $11 a pack. You get a thousand, that's just a little over $9 a pack. So, I would absolutely buy Mylar bags from E Gerber. Now, well, here's the thing though. Here's the thing. They don't have free shipping, but even if you spend 40 whatever, 43 $44 on 200 Mylars and you add $15 more to it, I mean, they, they're, they're still under that, what, they're still going to be a little more expensive by maybe a dollar so a pack than, or a couple dollars a pack than the um, Comic Pro lines, but you're getting a little better quality. Now, if you're ordering in a large quantity, I mean, even with the shipping, even with the shipping, at that point, the price point is so low with eGerber. If I'm ordering a thousand, I'm absolutely going with eGerber, no doubt. But if you don't need that much and you're not looking to spend that much and you want to save and still have a good quality Mylar, Comic Pro Line is absolutely solid. And again, I'm not buying Mylar from BCW if I'm looking specifically about saving money. Now, I mean, you can bundle up here 10 for 23 a pack, but it's still that's still so much more than E Gerber. It's crazy to think that. Like I buy almost everything else from BCW except for Mylar. All right, let's look at comic boards. Now remember, we're going to look at more of a the standard uh acid uh, a coat on one side and then we're going to look at more of a fullback option. All right? So, let's look at BCW right here. We got a hundred pack for fifteen dollars of your standard boards, right? If you buy five or more, it goes down to twelve fifty five, and that's really solid. Ten down to eleven twenty four, and then of course, if you buy in bulk, if you buy a thousand, you get them for about ten dollars per one hundred, which is really really awesome. Um, 
let's see, let's go to uh, Comic Pro Line for their, and we're going to look at their 28 points because their 24 points are only like 50 cents cheaper and they're super flimsy. Uh, the 28 point is more like the BCW and they charge 11.49 per depending on size. Now, again, it's a little more if you're just buying one or two, you know, uh, packs of 100. So if that's the case, if you only need one or two packs, you could save a little money on the Comet Pro lines. The standard boards, the 28 points are solid. They're not as, they don't have as much of a smooth gloss and as much of a smooth cut corner as the BCW. So, I mean, it's a decent option, but if you're buying more than a couple, I still would recommend BCW, especially in bulk because you're just, you're saving so much money. And I think again, you're having a slightly better quality board than your um, Comic Pro lines. All right. But now let's go to a full back option and we're going to look at Comet Pro Lines 58 point or 56 point here, excuse me. And we're going to be looking at E Gerber's, what they are still calling a full back. 1449. And remember, there's sales to be had here. They have sales. Sign up for the email list. They have sales. 1449 per 50. All right. Let's go to E Gerber. Look at their fullback, guys. 35 point. They lowered their thickness of their fullback. And stand, currents are $13.50. Dropped down to about $11 for $200. That, that's $11 per, per, per 50. And then uh, I think it's just roughly about $10. Right under $10 for uh, $100 if you buy $1,000. And then you have shipping costs, right? And remember with Comma Pro Line, spend $100, free shipping. Um, I wouldn't even bother. They're not. I always said halfbacks weren't worth it. They're garbage. Their fullbacks now aren't worth it at all. Go with Comic Pro Line straight up. Fifteen dollars, um, you know, for a fifty-six point next to maybe getting them for eleven something. If you buy two hundred with with E Gerber, and then you got to pay shipping for this, you know, half-sided brown thirty-four point. It's not worth it. Absolutely, I the best thing about my haul and my purchase from Comic Pro Line was these 56 point boards, and I love them. They're my favorite thing of Comic Pro Line, absolutely 100% without a doubt. So, guys, I know this was a lot to take in. I hope you guys really took in everything from seeing the, the product, um, comparing it to the other products, seeing them with books in the bags with the boards, and then comparing the price points. I hope you guys took in a lot. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I think Comic Pro Line is a great company with a, a, a solid product line, but I think there's definitely room for improvement and I want to see them grow. Right now, I'm picking some of their products over BCW and over E Gerber. I'm picking E Gerber Mylars over BCW and Comic Pro Line. And I'm pretty much taking BCW's poly bags over Comic Pro Line's OPBs. And for the most part, if I'm buying in bulk, I'm definitely taking BCW's standard backing boards over Comic Pro Line's backing boards. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. For taking this all in, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Be well, and until next time.